All right, guys, we're at Southeast Game Exchange for the $10 game collection. We are here. Last episode, I used a napkin because this is all I had to write down the numbers. 9, 12, 25. And then we sold uh, two DVDs after our fees. seventy-one fifty for, what is that grand total? 983.75. And feel free to talk. Rick is behind the camera. I'm excited, Rick. We're going to do good. 983.75 to go hunt for 64 games. Let's go. Let's get it. All right, so I don't want to spend all of our money because we still need to buy other things to flip, and we're not going to flip any of these N64 games. We're adding them to the collection. So a couple games I do want, Banjo, F-Zero, a couple of the Mario parties, and the heavies. The heavies that I want is either Goemon or Mystical Ninja Goemon. So I have two budgets. I got $100 in this pocket for Goemon, and I have up to $500 right here for games that we don't have. Here's a list of all the games that we do have. There it is. So I do know which ones we do have. Oh, hi, how are you? <laughs> <laughs> so these are the games we have. Uh, let's go find some Mrs. for games. Okay. You know what we should do first? We should pray to Jesus. Hey guys, Metal Jesus here. Metal Jesus? First booth, we already found two great games. Pretty good prices too. You got Yoshi Story, we don't have yet for 20. And Cruising USA, this game. Dude, did you play this game? One of the best games I, out there. I have I played this game all the time, and my dad would not play video games. We got this game, and then like the next month, every night, I feel like midnight, my dad's playing playing Cruising USA. So I had to get these two. $35 from J D Toys and Collectibles. Mario Party. Probably the most unique uh, sequel ever. That name, dude. Banjo Tooie. Come on. Mario Golf, Mario Party, and the best Mario Party game, Mario Party 2. I will dominate you at this game. You probably would. <laughs> so Pretty good. Bad. I love that game. Uh, do you know what you guys could do on these right here? These four? 150, guys. 150 is a great deal for all these. All right, 150 for these. These are basically half of the games we wanted to get on our list. We got a great deal. So here's a huge tip. We are here at Southeast Game Exchange. What, how much time is left? 30 minutes? Only about 30 minutes. 30, 45 minutes. This is the time to get deals at conventions. If you're ever at a, at, at a con, this is the time. So we got the 20 or 30 bucks knocked off, and we needed all of these. So we don't have this Star Wars yeah. game. We have Pod Racer and we have Rogue Squadron. I'm gonna see if we can't get a little bit knocked off of that. I'm serious, guys. We got like 25 minutes left to park. You gotta go really fast. Hey, what did you take 10 on this? <laughs> Sweet, 10 bucks. So guys, we took off Banjo Tooie, uh, both Mario parties, and Aaron just found another one. What'd you get, dog? Uh, I found right here for you and another one on your list. Hey, next. Let's see what we can do. You guys may think I'm being cheap, but I'm actually gonna try. We usually say 30. I'm gonna try 28. Every dollar counts, guys. Every dollar. Five dollars. Uh, and here's another negotiating tactic. I actually did put out my first price. I was like, "What's your best on this?" I said, "25 dollars is great." Just like that. Five bucks. Thank you. Another I'm negotiating just... tactic is don't pull out large wads of money in front of them. <laughs> <laughs> so Mario Tennis. If you have never played this, such a fun party game, dude. I. I love Mario Tennis. The power-ups is four players. I must check out if you've never played it. Retro Rick, Mario Tennis, or Wii Sports Tennis. Which is better? Mario Tennis. I want to thank Omaze for sponsoring this video. I am pumped to be working with Omaze to offer you a chance to win, get this, a Superformance Mark III R, all while supporting a great cause, the Peterson Automotive Museum. The winner gets to choose their own custom paint job. Just imagine the possibilities. You've got to go to omaze.com slash retro Rick to enter for your chance to win. Did you catch that this does support the Peterson Automotive Museum? They are preserving some of the great retro cars from the 80s, like the original DeLorean, from Back to the Future, the 1989 Batmobile, and yes, that's right, even the original Ghostbusters wagon. So for your chance to win the Superformance Mark III R, go to omaze.com slash retro Rick and enter now. Donations support the amazing work of the Peterson Automotive Museum. Best of luck to those of you who are entering for a chance to win, and, and thank you again to Omaze for sponsoring this video, let's get back to the convention. All right, so here's the thing right now, they're putting away everything. The 
think maybe we can negotiate even more? I think I mean, it's if they're like, this is one less thing that they can not have to pack away. Resident Evil 2. The most intense survival game ever created. Resident Evil 2. Now for Nintendo 64. Great game. Not as great. I mean, you know, on other platforms, it's a little better graphically, all that stuff. But still, I'm going to say 40. Let's we'll see. Also, trying to get games that aren't like heavy hitters because this is really the only place you can find games now. I'm not finding N64 games out in the wild. So, we got four more right here. A Bug's Life, I uh, don't know a ton about that one. I actually did play Toy Story 2 quite a bit back in the day. The chillest game ever. Pilot Wings. One That's of the most just, underrated soundtracks of all time. They're just so fun, like to relax in, at least for me. And then Tetrisphere. So, let's see what all four of these games are going to kind of total up to. 35? Yeah, it's great. 35 bucks. So Rick's going wild right now, picking up a lot of the more common stuff, no heavies, but it looks like he's got a stack of like 15 already or 10 games. And, and some pretty good ones, honestly, like Ready to Rumble, 10 bucks. Some of these sports ones, I mean, five, six, I just don't ever find them. So I'm trying to get as many N64 games as possible in the collection. Uh, this is actually a pretty decent game. Some of these sports games are, you know, they're not expensive, but they're still not bad. Knockout Kings is good. There was one in here, Lego Racers and Beetle Adventure Racing. Great game. Both of these racers are, this one isn't near as good as Beetle Adventure Racing, but uh, we got quite a nice little stack right here. We're going to ask about these. So from 93. From 93 to 75. That's a great deal. Thank you. Thank you. Guys, finally, we found our heavy. They have Goemon. No, they have Mystical Ninja Goemon. There's two. There's two, and they're both excellent games. So you got 110 on that. Would you take 100 flat? Just Mr. like that, baby. Yes. Ricky boy. Dude, that's a that's a big one. Yeah. That is a big one. Yes. Mystical Ninja. What about, what about the Super Nintendo one? Amazing game, too, as well. So I realize that most of you guys right now are probably screaming at me saying, Rick, you just picked up Mystical Ninja Goemon uh, on N64 at Rad Junk just a couple weeks ago. And you are correct. I completely forgot because my memory is trash, guys. So since I have two of these now, I'm going to give one of these away um, to you guys. All you need to do to be entered is to like this video and let me know down below what is your favorite N64 game of all time. What's your favorite Nintendo 64 game? And I'm going to pick a random comment uh, this time next week and give this dude away. I'm sorry for my stupidity. Let's get back into it. Oh, oh right in time. Pat did it as I found it for you. No way. I was just scrolling through all these and okay. I found that right in time. So here's the deal. Right now, I did this on purpose. I, I took out all cash to know what the budget is. So right now, I think we have... We have 130 left, and we have two games. F-Zero X that we needed, and Pokemon Snap. And Aaron just found Pokemon Snap. Let's go, baby. Yes. Uh, what's your best on this one, man? You got 25 on Pokemon Snap. 20 even? My God. Thank you, man. Oh. They're announcing the go time, Rick. We're in Zero X, man. We no gotta go. find it. Is it on? Can I turn it on? Yeah. You want to put a game in it? Rick, what are you thinking? We're on a very strict time frame. I know, crunch. I know, but I just wanted to show. He's like, look, games! I wanted to show everybody this. Aaron put this together. Look at this GBA. It's one of the prettiest things I've ever seen. Look at the it's like metallic metal, the purple. And you did this, correct? Yeah. That thing is gorgeous. Flying Dragon. Ooh. Dragon and Fighter's Destiny. I'm running out of money though. Let me let me let me check the budget. So I'm looking at these two games and he's like, I'll, I'll, I'll make you a deal. I'll make you, because we're closing up. Literally, it's closing up right now. I got these two. I also don't have. Let's see. I also don't have Cyber Tiger. You know what we do on these three? Where are we at? Right, there's two for fifty. Fifty. And how much was F Zero? That's the thing. F-Zero is going to be about a $35 game. Okay, I'll do that. I'll do that. So here they are, Flying Dragon, a decently uncommon game at this point. Cyber Tiger. Funny enough, I actually played this a ton growing up, too. Uh, I have said it before, played high school and college golf, love golf, love Cyber Tiger. Here's the thing, though. This is all the money I have left. What is it? What is that? 60? 
$60 and we still have yet to find F-Zero. I hope we find it. If we don't, maybe I'll get one more like decently uncommon game for around 60. But Rick, you better hurry. I know. As we walked over. We did it. The next booth. We did it. F-Zero X. Oh, look, I mean, seriously guys, look. People are all packing up. They're done. Like, they're completely done. Would you, uh, you got 45 on F-Zero. Would you do 40 flat? Ding, 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 ding. We did a the thing. thing! So here it is, guys. Thank you so much. And Rick made two copies! <laughs> <laughs> but literally, we couldn't find that game. One for each of you. Yes. What should we do with the last 20? Do we keep it or do we find one more game? One more game. Uh, would you do 20 on Mortal Kombat 4? All you had is 20 left, though, so all that's I have you is, can't. All yeah. I have is 20, so I can't, I can't. That's, that's, that's how it goes, y'all. Rejected! Hey, Rick, there's like five minutes left. You need to find a $20 game. All right, this is going to be our last booth. We got $20 left. Uh, the last person wouldn't go down. It's fine. Hey, I totally get it. I respect it. We got two Rugrats games. Rugrats, the movie... And Rugrats Scavenger Hunt. Would you do 20 bucks on these? Uh, and you're free, obviously, to look. But it is exactly $20 on price starting. How about, about since you're on such a pursuit, what? get you a Zelda game? <laughs> no! What? Are you serious, bro? That's how retro, that's, that's how the retro, retro room does it. Does it? Dang, dude. Dang. dude. Holy Dang. moly. Hey, you're awesome, bro. That's an amazing way to end, to end this today. Oh, hey, so. hey, we can have them too. Are you serious? <laughs> The most unex the most unexpected beautiful turn of events. I, mean, I love it, man. Thirty-three, I believe thirty-three new N64 games added to the ten dollar game collection. That is why we have been basically been hoarding this money from the ten dollar game collection, selling weird things like VCRs and DVDs, was to come here and to start buying these at the very end of the con. So here we are. All of these games and the big ones we wanted to knock off our list, the Mario Golfs, the Mario Parties, and then what a way to end the day. And that was so cool of that guy to hook us up with Ocarina of Time. But guys, that is it. That is why you hoard the money, you resell, you get N64 games at conventions at the end of the day.